Uh, well, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. I'm an hour early, so I'll have to uh, scrap my opening paragraph, which says we've just heard from the Minister for Children, uh, and say how good it is to follow Bill Thompson and his uh, very thought-provoking remarks, quite a lot of which, uh, philosophically, I had a huge amount of sympathy for. So rather than, as it were, read out the strict text, perhaps I could make my remarks in the context of what uh, Bill was saying and try and perhaps communicate to Bill uh, the problems that I have as a politician uh, and the politicians that, uh, the problems that we're trying to uh, overcome. And I think what the work, the work that UKIS uh, is trying to do as well to try and tackle some of the issues that the internet is throwing up uh, in terms of uh, our society, to put it bluntly. Uh, I come to this as the Minister for the Internet. Uh, when I also tell you that I'm the Minister for Fashion, uh, I hope I communicate that one doesn't necessarily have to know the product to have policy uh, <laughs> responsibility for it. But I found it a fascinating job, which we also, uh, Jeremy and I, covered it in opposition. And that covers uh, a lot of issues. It covers Internet governance and the governance of the web, which is uh, a very important feature. But it covers other social issues that arise, such as the desire of consumers uh, to have some control over their data and privacy, uh, either by understanding the deep semantics of Facebook or being able to uh, have some say on whether they're tracked uh, over the internet, it includes issues like net neutrality. But a very important issue is what we call uh, access to inappropriate content by uh, children. And uh, there is a very important balance to be struck here, because obviously, we all celebrate the extraordinary success of the web, the massive impact it's had on our economy, worth 100 billion pounds a year. Uh, and we all look in awe at the millions of people who go online every day, 40 million users uh, in the UK, pretty much most of the population, 2 billion people online, and the exponential growth uh, of the use of the internet, and indeed of different devices. And a third of all children, for example, aged between 12 and 15 now have a smartphone, and that's how they're accessing uh, the web. So what we have to do is celebrate that success, make sure that government doesn't interfere inappropriately to stymie that success, recognize that a lightly regulated World Wide Web has been hugely beneficial. But we then have to address some of the issues that that uh, uh, brings up. So as well as all the good, there is, to put it bluntly, uh, quite a bit of bad as well. Uh, and we've already addressed this to a certain extent, and the UK, uh, I think, has been in the forefront of this. The last government working with industry set up the Internet Watch Foundation, which there was no argument about. There's absolutely no argument that there's a need to try and tackle uh, and reduce access to websites uh, that are used by paedophiles or facilitate child abuse. There can't be any argument about that, and I haven't heard anyone argue that that could give succor to regimes like uh, China. Uh, and indeed, the rest of the world has followed that example. And I think the rest of the world looks at the work of UKIS in bringing together the myriad of stakeholders who are involved in this debate and thinks it's a very, very effective model of bringing together different voices to have to tackle that. But the issue of children inadvertently accessing or deliberately accessing inappropriate content is a real live issue. Uh, and I'll tell you just a story just to, I think, possibly help Bill to understand the issues that we have to face. And I'm not saying that, Bill, by the way, Bill, that you were saying don't do anything. I think you were quite rightly saying these are the challenges and hurdles you face. Uh, but we had a meeting with MPs yesterday of every single political party, Labour, Liberal, Democrat, and Conservative, including some Conservatives who you would see jump at the chance to go on the Today program and say, don't regulate this, don't regulate that, we don't believe in regulation. And every single one of them, bar none, wants the World Wide Web regulated uh, in order to try and prevent children accessing inappropriate content. And indeed, some of the Conservatives think that we're not doing enough, uh, we're going too slowly, uh, and we need to do more. And survey after survey shows that mums and dads all want this as well. Uh, and I think we put ourselves in the position as consumers and lay users uh, of the web. Uh, and I was interested by Bill's talk, because I think probably trying to understand technology for most of us is probably 
more difficult than trying to understand Wittgenstein. Uh, and parents want easy ways to try and protect their kids. Uh, but I would say to the industry that that mood in that room with those politicians is your hurdle because they are the ones that will be calling for regulation and there'll be similar groups of politicians in virtually every jurisdiction uh, across the globe who want regulation. And I completely understand what Bill was saying, which is the development of this technology is happening at such a rapid pace that regulation and legislation can easily be out of date before the ink is dry uh, on that, which is another reason why we're so keen to see industry take the lead and drive things forward. And I've said again and again at every single forum, all I think people are asking for are simple measures that they can take to protect their family. And nobody is pretending that the measures that they take will be foolproof uh, and 100% effective, but they want to see uh, it be as effective as possible. And we all know uh, that a lot of work is uh, being done. We've seen the first BSI Kite Mark awarded to Net Intelligence for their filtering software. I was encouraged by the launch of TalkTalk's HomeSafe product, even though obviously there's a debate whether, about whether device filtering or network filtering is more effective. But again, it seemed to me to be a very consumer-friendly way of saying to parents, this is what you can do if you want to take measures to protect your family. And Mike Galvin from BT is leading in this area. He's doing fantastic work, I think, uh, in bringing the industry along and persuading people to introduce this kind of work. I think what uh, uh, the government wants to see are clearer commitments uh, around the handling and communication of reports which highlight inappropriate content issues, for example. We want to see clearer measures uh, on websites and on ISPs to allow consumers to take what necessary action they can take. So uh, that's really what I came here to say, which is that I am a very committed minister as a member of UKIS. I work closely with Tim Loughton and James Brokenshire. I have good relationships, I think, across the industry. I'm grateful for the work that Mike Galvin is doing in this. And all I would really say to the industry is please be ahead of the curve. I don't think ministers want to regulate. I absolutely understand how regulation can be a blunt instrument. But you, you I sure, are aware of the concerns of parents who want to see action here. Uh, and what we would like to see are consumer-friendly, easy-to-use options to allow parents, where they can, uh, to block inappropriate content uh, in the home or, indeed, on the move. And we look forward to more measures coming from industry over the next few months to address those concerns.